Hey guys, here for another video, and uh, I was a dumbass and forgot to like download the OnlyFans content because usually what I do here, small synopsis of what I do uh, look at comments, look at requests, get the person sub, download all their content. Uh, the coding is very stupid, so I have to do things manually sometimes by downloading one by one. So I'll spend like an hour or two just downloading all the content, doing research on their OnlyFans, looking at their account, their whole setup, and all that stuff. Usually do that around Saturday, Sunday night. So Monday, uh, you know, I you know think about plan my week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, do my videos. Friday, have fun, enjoy my life. Saturday, Sunday, again, rinse and repeat. But I was a dumbass, and I'm watching like Ice Poseidon's live stream in India. It's so funny just seeing all that you know the entire shit show. So I completely forgot to download their content. But to give you guys a little preview, what I'm the you know the people I'm looking at this week is Giselle Lynette. I know I've seen this request so many times. I just didn't want to get it because it's so expensive. I think it's like 35 bucks, but I was like, fuck it. She's never going to go on sale. Let's just get it. Uh, second person that was requested recently was this Mar Maritina Martina. I don't know. Uh, again, got her uh, OnlyFans recently. Another person, I did her OnlyFans like a year ago. I don't know why I got it again. I don't know who requested it, but I guess I was a dumbass. Uh, but I got it. It's Amber and Jami or whatever. Uh, I think she blocked me on her main account. I got to check again. But uh, yeah, she fucking blocked me, I think. There's something. She, she, I had some drama from. I'm trying to remember. This was like a year ago. I think she tried to take my video down on a copyright strike. Didn't work. Uh, fair use came into play. So uh, yeah, we're going to review her again. Hopefully, maybe her content got a better over a year ago, right? Um... If it doesn't, I, I'm telling you right now, most girls rarely improve their OnlyFans just because, again, they're follow being followed by simps who's getting their OnlyFans, majority simps. And I'm not saying everyone that gets an OnlyFans is a simp, right? There are people that are actually true fans of these people. And they're like, you know what? I want to see you get fucked. I pay for Netflix. Why not pay for OnlyFans? Um... And again, it just sucks that a lot of these OnlyFans sucks. But uh, again, that was just a little bit of a preview of who I am going to be looking at this week. But today's video, we're going to talk about escorting, uh, how to get escorts and stuff like that. Uh, it's going to be a pretty high level. I won't go into depth about it because I would like to show everything. But uh, I think this is something I'd probably show in Rumble just because, um, yeah, you, <laughs> there's going to be pussy involved. There's going to be me showing you pictures of these girls and what you know red flags of what not to do what to get and all that stuff so again uh, the more in-depth stuff i'll probably do like another video and probably upload that to rumble or maybe do that on live stream but again we're going to talk about how to get escorts uh is it good or bad is it worth it why you get it and really you know overall in general should you get it now for me escorts are uh, i don't know it's like a double-edged sword it really just depends how you use it right uh you know it also depends on your age let's just say you're in your mid-20s right uh, you're working on yourself, you're grinding, and you know, we're all men, we all want to get some ass here and there, and some people are stupid, and they go to the strip club, right, spend a couple hundreds, uh, go to the VIP room, again, spend another couple hundreds, and even then, the girl will probably only give you a head, right, it's very rare that a strip club, a uh, good one, that is, would rather, you know, they, they're not gonna sell as, if you go to a really ratchet one, a really jank one, I think there was one, there was a strip club back in the day, because I went to, uh, UIC, uh, college, um, in front of it it's called the pink monkey in fact let's look it up really quick let me show you guys there was a strip club in front of my university it's insane but this strip club was fucking ratchet as hell like you got your shaniquas in here oh they changed the name deja vu showgirls strip club they got a really good chicken i'll tell you that but their girls are literally quasimodos they're ugly as cock like i'm telling you right now these girls are like this is the whole place you could just tell that this strip club is bad and it's crazy university's right here sears towers over here downtown like this is a good area like there's federal buildings around here but there's a strip club um which again that's just another thing about chicago chicago is so strange of like escorting and strippers like uh they'll be like actual prostitutes near police stations because some of the biggest customers for these girls are police uh again again i guess i guess it's another video but that is to say, uh, you're going to spend hundreds of dollars on strippers and you might not get some ass. So uh, if you have time and you want to get some ass and you don't want to put a mask on and lie to these girls and sell them a dream or play the game or go to these clubs, spend hundreds of dollars, you know, hours and upon hours, maybe weeks upon weeks to possibly get some mediocre as uh, escorts are an option. And, you know, there's typical standard rates for them, uh, I would say. And, you know, I'm going to use some uh, acronyms. And I'll explain what it is. There's like the acronym QV, uh, which is quick visit, which is typically $100 to $120. Uh, HHR or HH, which is obviously half hour. Typical rates between uh, 130 to 160 And then if you go anything above that, like an hour or two hours or like the day, which I don't know why you would do that. 
if you're just trying to get some ads. But from what I know from the escorts I've been told, and usually the people that rent them out for a day are really rich motherfuckers, like old dudes that need company, need a maid or something, so they'll hire a pretty girl. Or they're just dudes that have a shit ton of money. They want to go in a club uh, with like 10 girls just to have that status, which, you know, that is a thing. Having girls typically means status, not always like, um, for me, I have my little small harem of girls, so if I decide to go to a club, which I hate going to clubs, I might arrive with five girls, but I won't pay them just because, you know, I, I treat my escorts I've been with uh, with respect. I'm not saying all of them like me or befriended me in the past, but I do have a couple of, like, girls I've helped out, um, and they're going to help me out. <laughs> you know, an eye for an eye, right? I'll scratch their back if they scratch my back. But uh, those are typical prices. I always say do the half hour unless like, you know, unless you're like a demon and you just want your fucking nut and, you know, go ahead, do the quick visit. But just remember, you know, it does add up. Sex addiction is a thing. Uh, I think one thing that you might realize eventually when you start, you know, getting these escorts and kind of going to the escort world, it's like, wow, I can fuck a 10 uh, for a hundred bucks for 160 bucks and there are escorts also on instagram that like these rappers fuck and even then they're not that expensive well, relatively they're not that expensive like i was showing live stream uh, a girl that drake fucked and you can you can fuck her you know have her entirely for yourself for just three thousand dollars uh for the higher end escorts again this is if you're rich um and I'm assuming if you're rich, you probably know this, these type of things because, uh, you know, you just have you have more time, you have more money. More money means more leisure, right? Uh, typically, a high-end escort is around three to ten thousand um, dollars. Again, I personally don't see why you would pay that because, again, imagine like a, a, a perfect ten charging five thousand, but she slept with every single rapper, and every single rapper has probably slept with hundreds and hundreds of girls. And I, you know, sure, the professional ones typically get tested, but. There's always a chance that maybe they don't get tested for whatever reason. You might get an STD again. An STD is always possible with these escorts. But again, I think uh, what some escorts say in their profiles that they're clean, they get tested. Uh, and those are the ones that you typically want to go to because uh, avoid ratchet ones. Typically, they don't use protection. Uh, typically, they're a little bit more risky when it comes to like meeting dudes and having sex and all that stuff. So that is something to keep in mind. Now, to go on some step-by-step -step, uh, websites and tell you guys that. So let's just say, let's just say Sam wants an escort, right? So we're going to go down. I think a, there's many websites, but one website you could use is called List Crawler. Um, again, there's many websites. This one's pretty good for local ones. Uh, what are the benefits of local um, fucking uh, escorts, right? Uh, typically cheaper, typically easy to get. Typically, it's like, hey, do you want to meet? Cool. I mean, this hotel... And that's another thing you have to keep in mind. A lot of these girls, um, they work from hotels. In fact, I would say, like, if you're ever driving down the highway and you're, you see, like, a janky hotel and you're like, damn, how's that hotel still running? Majority of these hotels are occupied by escorts. And uh, another thing to keep in mind is that if you're contacting her, there's probably tens and hundreds of guys also contacting her. So if you go there, expect that she just finished sucking some cock and you're just the next one in line again this is just purely for the whole sexual pleasure do not get attached to these girls do not build emotion you can i have built some really good friendships from them and they've hooked me up with some stuff i provide them some value they provide me some value and i'm not talking about like i give them money they do this it's more like hey why not do an OnlyFans? Or, hey, maybe you should do this or that. You know, I actually try to get to know them. But that's just me because I like just to network and make connections. Whether it's with escorts, drug dealers, gun dealers, uh, you know, criminals, not criminals, uh, surgeons, doctors, whatever. I just like to network in general just to expand my net to gain more knowledge. But that's just me. But I'm just saying in general, typically don't do that because, uh, you know, there's going to be a time where she's going to be like, okay. Could you give me some money for XYZ? And those are the dumb escorts. I think the ones that are smart play for the long game. And they're like, wow, if this guy's really uh, good at networking, helping me, I'll help him out. And, you know, they won't ask for money like that. So local ones are pretty easy to get. So uh, list crawler, cool. This is my location right here. So let's just say I live in New York, right? Let's just put New York. Let's just put, um, let's put Queens. I think I can filter by Queens, right? You see a whole bunch of, oh, wait, okay, that's not it. Let me change my city. Sorry, Derpin. So United States, you see we got all states here. Personally, I like looking at higher end escorts just because, uh, you know, ratchet ones. I do not like ratchet ones, to be honest. But like I said, if you're trying to get a nut, here they are. And I'm not saying that everyone here is a fucking um, ratchet one, but let's go to Queens. Let's see what type of escorts Queens has. So there's a whole bunch of them. 
And also, there's like a whole rabbit hole of escorting, right? Like, if you're ever wondering, like, why is there so many Colombians? Why is there so many people that don't speak English? A lot of people here are being trafficked. That's another thing to keep in mind. Um, and also another thing, uh, like different states have different like cultures of escorting. Miami, you have a lot of immigrants. New York, you have a lot of immigrants. Texas, you have a lot of immigrants. And when I mean immigrants, those are the people that are typically being uh, trafficked. So that's something to keep in mind. So yeah, a whole bunch of them right here. So let's look at this girl right here. She has the Colombian flag. 100% she doesn't speak English just because, from what I noticed, the people that just type in Spanish, uh, they just know Spanish. And, um, yep, it's kind of like the rates I said. 180 half hour, 100, uh, oh, wow, 180 an hour. Wow, she's charging very cheap. 180 an hour, 100 for half hour, and 80 for a quick visit. Uh, and she's a pretty good looking girl. Um, also, another thing, what I would do with this specific website, and there's a reason why I like this website compared to others, is that you can go on more picks and reviews and if the pictures and reviews has a different girl automatically you know it's a scam how do you know that a uh, list crawler connects that number of all the pictures at every media that they posted uh, yesterday tomorrow a month ago two months ago so there are some scammers or i would say the majority of scammers they use the same phone number but they use different pictures of girls so if you look at more pictures and photos and you see a different girl from a different post a month ago that most likely is a scam, uh, but this girl's using the same picture that she did uh, many months ago because you could just go to old posts and see the other days that she's posted. So this one's pretty real. Um, and yeah, God bless her. That is really cheap. I guess she's still in the Colombian mindset, but I guess that's another thing I have to uh, remember is uh, for some reason, maybe it's because demand is so, uh, I wouldn't say low, but the volume is so high. Maybe that's why it's cheaper because in Miami, Again, this is as weird as it sounds, escorts are cheaper over there, but yet they're hotter. I think it's just because there's so many escorts in Miami. That's why uh, it's probably cheaper. I never really, I guess, thought of that fully, but I guess same thing possibly in New York. New York volume people are just so high. There's so many immigrants there. Uh, there's so many, I guess, people from out of the country that, again, volume rise and demand. Uh, if the demand is high, but the volume is higher than the demand, then they're probably going to adjust their price a little bit more to, you know, go in line and try to be one on one on demand as much as possible. But that's how you know if they're fake or not. Uh, I always say just look at more pics and videos and look at older posts. And sometimes uh, you can kind of tell by the titles. So some of these titles are pretty normal, but if they have really weird characters uh, or they say something that's not like it doesn't make sense, like uh, I can host or visit Thirsty Girl 26 year old. OK, no, 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 it's actually pretty normal. Uh, I guess these are all pretty normal, but sometimes you see weird characters like this one right here. Greek anal, Greek anal trans of pussy and calls. I'm not going to click on that because I don't want to see no trans shit. But these weird characters, sometimes they're usually associated with bots. Same thing with this one. They're using weird characters because uh, think about it. A normal human wouldn't write that shit. Now, some other things to realize when you do get an escort is, um, again, you're it's purely transactional. Like I said, it's rarely you have an emotions. Uh, and also, typically with a good escort will not ask you for a deposit. Uh, what some people do and you guys will notice and again, these are typically scammers will be like, hey, I need a $10 deposit to verify or confirm your uh, appointment. And it's like, that's strange. Why do you need to confirm my appointment? If I'm coming at five, I'm coming at five. I'm coming at six. I'm coming at six. You don't need to give them 10 bucks. And typically when they, you do, they'll just block you right afterwards. So again, that's just a little small piece of advice. And the whole process is actually yeah, pretty simple. You just text them. Hey, uh, I saw you on X site. I saw you. Uh, that you, you know you're promoting this uh, what are your rates what your location is what you're doing in call where you're doing out call personally I would do in call because again it's in a hotel hotels are typically safer uh, out call some do that if you want to bring them over your house for some whatever reason uh, I never did that because I just don't think it's uh, I just don't want them to know where I live and also I have a lot of things that are worth a lot of money around this house so I just don't want them to you know ever break in and stuff like that so overall process is pretty simple uh the way it goes that okay cool these are the rates this location cool i'll come in at xyz time you go xyz time you typically give them the cash up front and then they do their thing and they're you know they're pretty professional i've rarely had any bad experiences uh i stopped using them for one specific story which i'll tell you guys but again uh if you're shy if you're nervous a really good escort will typically make you feel comfortable they'll kind of lay you down uh, and the way it typically goes, you guys want to go really in depth is that she'll just start sucking your dick uh, with protection on. And trust me, for the people who are like, no, I don't want to use it <laughs> because, again, these girls have been passed around. So there's a high chance that, you know, 
if they haven't gotten tested recently that they probably have something so again use protection at all costs um and she'll sit you down to you know do the one two three you can kind of have control if you want to have control over it uh you know go on top and do whatever they're pretty receptive to anything obviously don't be too aggressive don't be too violent uh again it's just there are pimps some of them have pimps and they don't tell you so if you're gonna be violent just realize that there's consequences to your actions and you might get the shit beat out of you uh because uh, you know a lot of these girls have pimps and it's just not worth being violent or being aggressive or any of that stuff but overall yeah it's pretty quick though you know you finish it you nut you get off and it's pretty again it's not a complicated procedure everything's pretty quick, efficient and quick the reason i stopped using it um there there was one situation that it kind of hit me i was like a little bit disgusted but Again, this is just me. I understand not everyone's like this. Uh, it was like this one situation where this girl, really pretty girl, I was shocked she was even doing this type of work. Um, but she had such a bitch personality. Like, I go in, I give her the money, she's just on her phone just texting other dudes. And I'm like, okay, whatever, maybe she has to do it. Um, and she doesn't, again, from the ones I've used, like almost all of them, they typically kind of talk to you, lay you down, make you feel comfortable. It's like a service. It's like a maid service. And this girl was just not doing any type of service it was pretty much bad customer service just on the phone being really aggressive uh eventually and then she's like fine take your clothes off and i'm like damn okay i mean sure i mean f in my head i'm like damn i already gave her the money fuck it i might as well just like get my nut off and then just call her a bitch or something when i leave and then you know one two three obviously sucks my dick again top of her whatever xyz happens but during the entire time of xyz um She's like half texting, like she'll get like a notification on her phone. She'll grab it, stop midway, check it, respond. And then, you know, we keep going and I'm just like, what the heck? Uh, and I kind of tell her like, hey, do you want to get off your phone? And then she gave me some attitude and, you know, to get her back, I just nutted on her face <laughs> uh, because, uh, you know, fuck her. And obviously I was like, well, I paid for it. I never do that, but I merely did that out of spite. And uh, she kept texting on her phone. I put my clothes off or on. And then she like takes off my protection, obviously, prior to me taking uh, putting my clothes on. And then she throws it in the garbage. And then I look at the garbage because I have a napkin in my fucking pocket. You know, I'm cleaning myself. Uh, and I just see like, I don't know how many. It was definitely like hundreds of condoms, used ones. And I just felt so disgusted because I was like, realistically, I'm I'm doing a train, right? Like you're indirectly running a train on a girl because right before I came, you know, there was probably dude smashing her. And as soon as I got out that situation, guess what? There was another dude coming in and he was like this ugly, fat, like gargoyle, Quasimodo looking motherfucker. And I was just like, I can do better than this. And obviously there's different escorts, right? Like some escorts have like hygiene. Some escorts will only fuck Mexicans. Some escorts don't fuck with black people. In fact, a lot of escorts hate black people. As weird as it sounds, uh, cause there's some cultural things that go behind uh, the scenes. But that is to say, I felt disgusted. I knew I could do better. And for me and you know, my religion, kind of what I want to do in my life and kind of like, uh, you know, treat others so you want to be treated. And if I had a son or if I had a daughter, would I be happy with them doing this type of work? I wouldn't. Uh, so, you know, I kind of stopped using them, but I don't think it's a bad option in general uh considering that like the whole game and dating game and relationship type thing is so distorted nowadays you get your heart broken a girl will use you for every cent you have so it's like okay you just want your nut off you don't want to hurt anyone's heart feelings you don't want to get hurt uh just do this escorting thing it's not a bad option but realize it's a little disgusting you know realize that you might feel disgusted with yourself and realize that these girls are being passed around and they might get smashed by like a huge disgusting tyrone motherfucker and if you're okay with that then go ahead and do it but for me i just wasn't okay with that and i felt uh so disgusted seeing like this sweaty like this guy's sweat was fucking green or something i don't know it was, it was warm outside but still he just looked disgusting and the girl had a bitch attitude and when i saw that garbage i was just like Ugh. you know it, it just felt disgusting but uh i don't I, I hope that gave you guys some insight how to get an escort it's pretty simple it's pretty easy uh don't it's not complicated at all merely text them what are your rates what location are you these are my rates these are my location cool see you give them cash uh don't do any type of e-pay in general don't do any type of depositing in general cash is king cash is simple cash is efficient get your note off and go and you know some people may get addicted to it, so just be careful like i said it's like gaming it's like drug it's like alcohol it's like any type of activity uh you have to check yourself on it because <laughs> if you get addicted to that let me tell you something you're gonna lose a lot of money very quickly it adds up right Let's say you're smashing a girl 
like every week for 150 right 150 times four that's 600 600 dollars that's rent for some people that's 50 percent of rents for some people so uh, i definitely think people will get old with it i think i got over it within like a couple times that i did it i'm just like eh, it feels good but is it worth 160 is this girl really worth 1000 is as really worth that much or can i just use my hand get it over with not waste any time and you know go on with my life so that is something to think about so uh if you guys do have any questions uh definitely feel free to ask there's a whole bunch of websites list crawler is like the most basic generic um uh, common one within the united states there are also ones out of the country that you can go to brazil you go to guatemala i think i made a video on that of how to pimp like internationally uh but again those are options and definitely beware be safe use protection obviously treat your body with respect it's like always guys i do appreciate you guys this video any advice any comments any suggestions whatever obviously leave in the comments below only fans videos will continue this week like i said i was just a dumbass and forgot to download the content takes a couple hours don't have a couple hours of in the day because i'm doing so many things uh, at once after work so uh definitely appreciate his like uh watching this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button hopefully we get 20 billion subs by the end of this week and if not i will kill myself later